find myself not liking a whole bunch of stuff that I used to like, whether it be movies, TV. I'll look through Netflix and be like, man, all this look black. I, mean, I definitely ain't watching that. And what really jumped this off is I was on the phone with somebody. I can't remember who it was. And somebody first. Now, this just might be my old man coming out because we is 40 in this thing. Uh, somebody pulled up playing some new youngster music and uh it just sounded like it's it was stupid it's like and i'm convinced that people our age grown men i gotta say it grown ass men <laughs> i'm convinced that y'all like this music because you're trying to hold on to your youth you want to still feel young and cool and you just look stupid that's just my point but anyway uh uh I refer, I, and, and what, uh, I guess, capped this whole thing off, I was talking to somebody, and I forget w what came up, I think romantic comedies or whatever, and I was like, you should watch uh, Silver Linings Playbook. If y'all ain't never seen Silver Linings Playbook, it's super dope. It's super weird, but it's super dope. And... Eternal, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Those are two of my favorite movies ever. And they they old. They ain't old, old, but they old. And I'm saying that up and up against Silence Your Phone, sir. That's my watch. Silence. Silence. That's my watch. Silence, my bad, silence your everything. Nah, but I, I was just saying that because I was looking at, I was actually looking at Netflix and all these movies online. I'm like, man, I don't like none of this. And I ended up going back and watching my trusted favorites. And it was like, man, they ain't even making. And was I ain't gonna if y'all ain't never seen Silver Lines Playbook, I ain't gonna give it away. But it's so dope. So that's so those are things I don't like. I don't like new movies. I don't like new music. I don't like new people. It's like, nah. dang. <laughs> you know, I think I think new music. A lot of the new music sound like what candy cigarette cereal would right. taste like. <laughs> candy cigarette cereal. <laughs> like real talk. That's candy what... cigarette cereal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Truly do. I can't. I, can't I, I'm... I feel you though. I mean, like, you know, to me, unbiased, like, to me, the Chronic is like the greatest hip hop album yeah. to ever come yeah. out. Period. Yeah. Point blank. Yeah. But I can't listen to it. Right. I can't at all. listen to it now. At all. Even it makes like it. It's cringy. It's it's the Chronic is super duper ooper cringy. I try to listen to. I ain't gonna even front. I've tried to listen to Tupac. I can't do. it. I, I, can't I can't listen to pop. I can't man. make it through. I, I I I might I might have a couple select songs that I might can still listen to that it's like all right I can dig that I feel but let a let man let a pop play let a pop album try to play through like man let I, me tell you let me tell you for, for two reasons why mm -hmm. one reason why I couldn't just get with pop I and I thought I was too pop at that time. I think everybody in this room agrees that they, when Pac was shining and, and, and on his, on his, on his, on his, you know, F everybody thing, mm -hmm. I, I agree. I think everybody in this room felt a little bit of Pac in them. Mm -hmm. you know All what day I'm long. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't like where it takes me. Yeah. But what, that didn't, that, that's not what made me cringe. Mm -hmm. When I listened to the song Blasphemy mm -hmm. and where I'm at mm -hmm. now, it mm -hmm. really was like, man. Boy, you, don't know, you ain't know nothing, Pac. <laughs> you know nothing about what you was like, talking about. Ain't no nothing. <laughs> like, for, right. like for real, right? And we got to remember, this is a twenty-five-year-old dude. Like he's a kid compared to who we are right, right. now. Today. He, right. He's trying, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying right. to figure it out mm -hmm. while he's trying to read right. and right. everything else at the right. same time. And right. and lost. I changed the words up. I'd be like, "Time to check my we <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't, As a straight balling, I, 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 straight <laughs> balling. And, and, and this is my number two point to why, like, I can't, like, I can't listen to Nipsey and Nipsey. I just became oh, a Nipsey man. fan. It's, it takes me to a place of darkness. I yeah. can't lie. 
Like, I don't want to. I fit. listen to the nip. You still run the nip? <laughs> Rare anymore. That's me too. I, I, the thing with nip, the vict, I, the victory lap is a classic. It's, it's undeniable. It's dope, but it don't really take me to a dark place. A lot of, a lot of music or old stuff. It, I just in the middle of listening to it, I'll just be like. Like for what? Like right? I'm because I'm I, not getting anything out of it. See, I, I I a lot of times like if I listen to Nip, I I just get more business motivated. Right. Yeah. Than anything. Yeah. Like that. That's really all I get from there. Yeah. He's not really like negative. Um, but the thing is, why I say it takes me to a dark place, not to cut you off. No, no, you. But why it's I, associated with a season in your life. That's yeah, why. Yeah, it's associated gotcha. with those. Yeah. Okay. Like. Machiavelli was out, out before it came out. I was yeah. doing things as yeah. a child, as mm-hmm. a youth, mm-hmm. playing in a dangerous zone. And then as an adult, listen to Nipsey, I was going through a, a time where I, I got draped off into another religion that I didn't even know I was involved in. Mm-hmm. And listening to his songs motivated me. And he probably didn't know what he was doing. Right. It was a lot. It's because it's a lot of uh, self affirmation. Um, affirmation and universal right. talk. Yep. Yeah. Self manifestation and the what's what is it the power of uh, uh, word and thought. But it's a it's a it's a it's a phrase or something that I'm trying to think of. It's not the power of positive thinking. It's the law of attraction. Law of attraction, yeah. right, right. Which yeah. which for all the the reason why we're talking about this, that's all occult origin. It's that's all it's that's all. Uh, Basically witchcraft. I yeah, mean, it's it's right. tapping into the it's tapping into the supernatural realm outside of God. That's what that's what witchcraft is. That's what voodoo is. That's what uh, astrology. That's what all of this stuff. All of this. It's real. It has power, but it is illegal access to the supernatural. You, we are as Christians, we are commanded. And as image bearers of God, we are commanded to access the supernatural through the Father. Anytime you go around and you go through the signs, stars, constellations, or magic, or voodoo, or spells, and you and you ain't going through the Father. That's illegal access to the supernatural. So right. that's what we're saying. Right? And and yeah. you gotta and you also gotta understand what the devil may be dressed in. Right. Oh, you're right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. like if you if you don't if you don't really have your goggles on, mm-hmm. it's gonna look good. Yeah. It's gonna be positive, yep. mm-hmm. right? Yep. But if it's not a line, all day it's out of line. So, yeah, that's what that's why I say that. Like, and I, oh, I, I like that. I'm, it's not a line. It's out of line. Yeah, it's not a line. It's out of line. And right. Tattoo on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> and so you know that's what I was saying. Just to see when they was listening to it, they probably would, I was, but I was. Going backwards, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I really like Nip. Like that's one of my favorite albums of all time. Most well, see, you know, you know what? That kind of speaks to another, like, for, like say for instance, um, say for instance, this is kind of relative or kind of related to that. So. It's it's just like like say alcohol. Alcohol isn't inherent. Well, alcohol ain't nec- might affect us differently. Mm-hmm. Bino might be able to listen to certain things about Nip, or I might be able to play this, that, and that, and then use like uh uh-uh, uh I got like it because it it triggers. So it that comes back to just being honest about our triggers. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I start thinking about gang banging. So, you know, West Side? He super did, too. He, I, I said, right. man, this boy is a gang banger. He over there lunching. <laughs> 40-year-old crib. Right, right, right. All right, so let's, uh, Scoop, you got work? Yeah, I'm good, though. You straight? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good till about 10.30. Okay, cool. All right. Um, all right, so... Let's do the uh, Royal Family Roundtable. Okay. Right? Now explain what that is. Baby. That's an awesome question because I'm <laughs> tired and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, basically, the uh, 
World Family uh, Round Table is we just, just we're just going over. Uh, uh, it's kind of like you know what we maybe you might want to promote something or tell people something or you know talk about what you got going on or talk about your motivation right now or you know what I'm saying just discuss uh what's new like an open floor like open floor open floor uh, so why don't you go ahead and kick it off what what, what what's uh your round table discussion topic today? what's on your mind uh, uh today my topic is I found me a new hobby. Okay. Uh, and it spins back for a couple of weeks because uh, me and Rico, me and me and brother Rico, mm -hmm. champion uh, Cool Ranch Dorico. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> we 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 obviously we have we 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 spend a lot of time uh, talking about politics and religion, and mm -hmm. uh, he's been trying to introduce me to uh, apologetics. And first off, I, when he sent me to the videos or sent me videos. I, I would I would watch them and I would be interested and I would like I would like the points they would make but I wasn't really aligning myself with what was going on. I'm just like yeah he make he's making a good point, but I'm not looking at it for what it is. But the more I get into politics, and then the more I get into watching these videos, I'm seeing the point of view of the person holding the apologetic or the uh, the political standpoint from where they're coming from, and I'm I'm agreeing with with the side that. I think should be agreed on, mm -hmm. and I be on social media a lot. Like they call me the social media guru. I be on social media a lot, and then mm -hmm. it would spill off into my page. Mm -hmm. And then I found myself debating with people on my page about, uh, uh, about you know what it is the 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 the, the, the certain topic it is that I'm that I'm uh, arguing about. And I would say, well, you know, I'm not gonna argue with nobody or say nothing to nobody. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I was always taught to research what you, what it is. Know what you're talking about before you say something. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to uh, studying politics a lot. And then uh, I'm always reading the Bible or looking into my favorite things that I things that don't make sense to me. I would watch videos about Christians versus Muslims. And I had a I had a one time I had a, a, a full flat. I didn't know I was practicing apologetics then, but I had a. Uh, uh, an apologetic debate with one of my longtime friends, a buddy of mine, because he's a Jehovah Witness, and we going back and forth, and I, and I was just like, man, like some people just don't get it, like, and then it's crazy. This is the Holy Spirit. Rico would always say, "You got to do it. You got to do it, man. You can't let them back you down. You got to do it." <laughs> and that time that I, I I went to war, I went to Holy War. I would like to say, excuse me. I went to Holy War with my friend. When we was going back and forth, I, I kind of felt the Holy Spirit was like, nah, you're going to do it. You got to do it because you can't let him back you down when you know the truth. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you spread some truth to him, that he'll come to the light. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the more and more I went through it, I started studying. So then I started studying on my own without the videos Rico sent me. And the more I get into politics and the more I get into studying my faith and understanding my faith and the reason by, behind why I study my faith, and I start to pay with people online, I'm like, man, I'm watching the videos. I said, man, maybe there's something I want to pick up on because I really like doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about arguing and debating. It's about bringing people to the truth and the light and being able to defend myself and defend my faith mm -hmm. and say, hey, yo. You might you might be a little out of line. I think it says in black and white right here, this is what this means. Mm -hmm. I could show you in word what this means. Well, what if you don't believe the word? Well, I could show you historical facts on why you should believe this word. Mm -hmm. Like if, if, if you want to go out, because mostly people will argue, well, a man wrote this book. Well, their argument would be from another man's book. So why would you believe this book and not believe this book are you more concerned with truth or just your opinion and being right so all the information we get it was was in the book before we got it <laughs> so every, right right so you can't tell me nothing that you know that ain't in the book before you right. got it right so if we want to go off books well i got history proven that i think my book from my opinion holds more historical fact and i know just you can't really argue with your own self what you've been through because anybody can say anything. Oh, I went through this and I, and this happened to me. 
So we just gonna go off the facts. This is what it says right here. This is what it says right here. And I've been studying that, and, and it's it's becoming it's, it's, it's growing on me. And I'm watching a lot of debates, and like I just watched one yesterday with David Wood. He's one of my favorite favorite apologists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, of right now. Yeah. And uh, one of Rico's, I watch him. He get he get deep down. What's his name? Uh, 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 I don't have enough faith. Oh, Frank Turk. Yeah, Frank yeah, that's Turk. That's my guy. That's yeah, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's one of Rico's favorite. But I like David Wood, man, because yeah. I just relate a lot to his attitude and things he's been through. Not that I'm a crazy, violent dude, but I I can understand where he's coming from on a lot of things, and uh, the way he breaks things down with it doesn't be. It seems a little emotionless. It, it, it be purely facts, mm -hmm. and the way he laid down to you is like, hey. You can now. I hear what you're saying, mm -hmm. and he makes he kind of he makes him look like okay. He'll say what he says, and then he'll let you play yourself. Congratulations, mm -hmm. you played yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and and the whole thing about apologetics ain't just to argue. Um, actually, in First Peter three fifteen, it says, "But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear, having good consciousness that when they defame you as believers, those who reveal revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. It's like maybe if I could convince you that you might be overlooking some things because, and you're being a little biased, and you're not really looking for truth. 